Okay, fractions can be negative. So let's talk for a moment about the notation we use with negative numbers. Of course, we use a negative sign to indicate a negative number, but the question is where do you put it? Does it go on the numerator or the denominator? Well, mathematically, it could go either on the numerator or the denominator, but the standard approach is to write the negative sign on the numerator. So for example, instead of writing 3 over negative 5, we would write negative 3 over 5. And this is considered the standard form. Even though those two are equivalent, mathematically, the standard approach is to put the negative sign on the numerator. Now it's also common to see this, a negative sign out front like that, negative 3 fifths. All three of these fractions are mathematically equal to each other but this this is not commonly seen or if it's if you end up with this if you're doing a problem and you end up with this it's common just to move the negative sign up to the numerator or out front now sometimes you end up with a negative sign in the numerator and the denominator like look at this negative 2 over negative 7 if you have something like this Remember that the fraction bar means division. So this is negative 2 divided by negative 7. And a negative number divided by another negative number is a positive number. So this is equivalent to 2 over 7. And that's important just to recognize. In a situation like this, you often think of these two negative signs as canceling out. So those both cancel each other out, leaving us with a positive number in the numerator and the denominator. And then this would be considered simplified. If you have something like this, don't leave it like that. Don't leave a, just a negative numerator and a negative denominator. Those should be canceled out and it should be put into the simplest form. And then our, our approach of simplifying a fraction works still even if negative numbers are involved. So in this case if we want to reduce negative 18 over 24 to simplest form, if you're told to simplify this, you just proceed in the usual manner. In this case negative 18 and 24 are both easily recognizable as even numbers. So we can divide them both by 2 and that leaves me with a negative 9 over 12. And then both of these numbers are divisible by 3. So negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So negative 3 fourths is the answer. And if you wanted to write it like this, negative 3 fourths, that's typically considered fine. Although writing it like this, 3 over negative 4, even though that would be mathematically equivalent, that would be considered unusual to write it in that form.